your subconscious control. Now, magicians have been using this technique for years, okay? And I want to show you something now whereby we can make use of a very interesting experiment. So, sorry, remind me first now. Bob, okay, Bob, rather than physically remove a card, I'm going to have you peek at once. I'll release them very slowly. Stop. Take a peek. I want to make a peek. Okay. Stop. Got it? I need to study your facial expressions now because in a moment they're going to change ever so slightly. I just need a base point to work. Okay, I think you play cards, by the way. A little bit. You've got a very ser serious demeanor. All right. Chris, I'll do the same with you. Cool. I'll take a peek for that stuff. <laughs> Okay. And just study your face as well. I'm so pleased neither of you are wearing glasses because I find people wear glasses, they're very difficult to work with. All right, now here's how this will work. I'm going to show you the face of the cards. Don't look at me, look at the cards. I'm going to watch your face. And as they go by, if you see your card, try and keep a deadpan expression, okay? Now, like I said, you've got what's known in the uh, trade as a very neutral expression, so this will work very well, in fact. Okay, I'm just going to go right through the cards. Okay, that's intrigued. Do you know something? Believe it or not, you've given me all the information I need. But we're going to save that to the end. I'll do the same with you, Chris. Look at the cards. And I'm going to make a few uh, choice selections as they go by. Okay? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll go with this one here. This one. I notice your demeanor has changed somewhat as well, which is intriguing. Okay? All right, yeah. Let's go with this one here. Tell me yes or no, am I close? Interesting. Right, I need to employ one more te uh, technique. I need to listen to the sound of your voice. Because poker players know that you can pick up a sign of stress just from tonality. So. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to show you each of these cards one yeah. at a time. Well, well, let's call out the name of each card and even monitor as they go by. Right. Right. Even monitor. Right. Call out this one. Queen of Spades. Now I can tell you're doing that deliberately just to throw me off the set. This one. You said monitor. Yeah, this one. Nine of Diamonds. Nine of Diamonds, this one here. Jack of Clubs. I hope everyone else is listening to this as well. And finally, Eight of Clubs. Did any of you pick up any slight variation? Variation in, in his vocal delivery. Well, like I said, I've been doing this a long time. I heard a slight flicker on this card. Yeah, honest. But for the first time, what's the new card? Eight of hearts. <laughs> now, I should point out, I'm a professional. I, I, I didn't take any chances, and I got the. Uh, the other <laughs> Just for good measure. <laughs> now, this is where it gets interesting. Do you remember I said you gave me all the information I was looking for? I wasn't kidding. In fact, I know two things about your card right now with absolute certainty. I know for a fact that your card was not one of these eight. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Uh, let me just narrow this down slightly. So, what I'm saying is it was not the eight of spades or the eight of diamonds. Eight of clubs, or even the eight of hearts. Yeah. Guess what, Chris? If I was to narrow this down, I would say the suit of Bob's card was in fact the heart, but not the eight of hearts. Do you know something? What's one heart between friends? I actually think yours was the seven of hearts. But just for you, I thought you might appreciate that. The seven. <laughs> It's great when you get a better contrast, but I thought, okay, what the heck. Actually, it's kind of, it's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's absolutely great. Yeah.